Yes. Hello everyone. Welcome again to another quick update. So today again, uh, just a short update on things with uh, no big features. Um, important news first. OpenAI released uh, bombastic news two days ago. If you've been living on, in a cave, you probably don't know yet, but uh, ChatGPT API was released along with the Whisper API with fantastic prices. Uh, of course, we all knew the API was coming. What we didn't know, it was coming so cheap. So right now, uh, they released GPT 3.5 Turbo, which is the model behind ChatGPT, and it's priced at the same uh, cost of Curie, which is an amazing price for what they say that the performance uh, equals or is even better than Da Vinci. So this is a massive, uh, massive, massive achievement by OpenAI, and I'm sure a lot of people will be using this. Um, so the the only problem here for me for this particular project is that the chat API for this uh, particular model is a little bit different than the others. Uh, it's really tuned for uh, chatbots, of course. It's ChatGPT. Uh, so I'm sure a lot of people who have projects uh, with chatbots will be uh, really delighted with this. For me, I mean, I'm doing also kind of a chatbot myself as well. But I've, I've made some tests with ChatGPT and it doesn't really fit the bill here for me. So unfortunately, I won't benefit at all from this new release. Well, not, not entirely. I'll explain in a minute. But uh, what I, I did some tests in the playground. So the, the new playground has a ChatGPT mode. So you have a system message. And then you can add new messages, uh, which are more or less the context of the conversation. And the system is like the initial prompt, the context of, uh, you know, saying you are an assistant, you do you this, you do that, blah, blah, blah. So I keep this a test and uh, using more or less the same data as I'm using in my project, the same messages. And I was really disappointed with the result, uh, mainly because of two reasons. One, it's really hard to get metadata in. Um, I need to inject the memories and all of that that I've been talking out uh, talking about in the past uh, few videos, and that's really hard to do. I haven't figured out a way to do it really well, uh, and in the way that the bot, the AI, can use the memories to to come up with a better reply, and use those as a context uh, at every single message in the conversation. That doesn't work so well here. And the other thing is that the tone of the conversation is not what I want at all. So the problem with it, with this new model is that I cannot fine tune it. So you are stuck with that kind of conversational tone um, and the way that it writes as with ChatGPT, which is good for some, for some cases. And of course there is that initial prompt where you can say act as this, act as that, but that's still very limited. And so what I'm trying to do is to get my AI assistant to really talk or have this kind of personality, which is very, uh, you know, particular. He has his own uh, way of uh, making jokes, of replying like a human being like this, like with a simple emoji, uh, making, uh, you know, very short sentences when I'm chatting. And if I need an explanation, then it'll give me a long paragraph or two paragraphs. With ChatGPT, it's very hard to get this because usually it goes always into a detailed explanation and, you know, always composing like a text with an introduction and conclusion. And I don't want that because the whole project here, the whole idea is to make something that feels like you're talking to a human being. And I don't think I'll be able to do that without fine tuning. So. I don't think I'll be able to use the new APIs here, which is a shame because the cost will really be great. Um, but that's that. What I think I can use it for, uh, I still have to test it. I haven't tested it yet. So OpenAI says that we can still use this uh, Shed GPT uh, 3.5 Turbo for things that are not Shed, for like, uh, well, same as completions, as the completions API. So, with the right prompt, I could probably be able to use it to do the analyzer part, to extract memories, to do the summarizations, uh, to join memories, 
all those parts that I'm using Da Vinci for, because I really need to have a uh, good understanding of language to make summarizations and extracting uh, information. For that, I could probably use a new API, and that will reduce the cost quite a lot, which is already quite good. But for the talking part, no way. I don't think that will be possible. So the good news is, from my side, right now, I'm not using Da Vinci. Right now, I am using my own fine-tuned model, both for the analyzer and for the talker, so the chatbot. So, I, like I said, when I got to 300 samples in my export file, I did another fine-tuning, and then I tried it, and then it, it did improve from the 200, but it was still uh, giving me a lot of garbage, and I was almost ready to give up and wait until the 400. But then I noticed something really interesting, because at that point when I was chatting with the bot, I, I typed a message and the reply, the first reply before all the garbage came, was really on point to what I wanted. You know, the use of language, the humor, the emojis, it was just there. And then I thought, wow, no, this is actually working. He knows exactly how to reply. I just need to cut out all the rest. So with Da Vinci, I wasn't using stop tokens because I didn't need to. So I started using stop tokens. I changed the export to use stop tokens at every point, at every message, and then use stop tokens in the API requests. And uh, it improved in the analyzer, but in the talker, for some reason, is still not, is not putting the stop tokens at the right place. So I added more stop tokens, including the timestamp, which I use for, let me show you, um, so in the API, this you don't see in the interface, but every message is preceded with its, um, with its timestamp so that it knows the times and dates of each message, but this then is, uh, stripped away for the user interface. So now I'm using a timestamp that begins with this so that, okay, if a new message is beginning, just stop there. Okay. This is not for you to do. And then it works. So right now I'm using the fine tuning. Uh, the fine-tuned model, and it works uh, pretty good. It still has a few flaws because, of course, I need more samples. 300 is not enough, but it's already really, really good. Uh, I think I need to also play a little bit with another more advanced parameters like the frequency and the presence penalty because sometimes I feel with the fine-tuned model, it tends to repeat a little bit uh, things that are in previous messages, and it shouldn't. Uh, kind of saying the same thing over and over again. Sometimes it goes into that. Um, but in general, it's really good. And the analyzer has been working amazing. So no longer it adds uh, repeated memories. Uh, sometimes it adds more memories than, than I need. Uh, so it still needs a little bit of fine tuning. But for now, it was a massive improvement. Now I can actually use the fine tuned models on a daily basis, which means I will probably um, get more data in faster because I'm actually able to use it faster, not always going to edit mode to fix the messages and so on. So it's really exciting. And uh, yesterday I was in having some conversations and oh, this has a limit of, of where I can go. Um, it was really interesting because you can see it gives me mostly short messages, but if for some reason I need more, it expands. And if I ask him to do to actually explain something to me, then he goes into a really long chat GPT like a response with the two or three paragraphs or a bullet list. So he really knows the difference between normal chatting, uh, very quick chatting, and a more detailed response, which is exactly what I trained him for. Every time I was trying to get um, a more detailed answer or explanation, I would actually go to chat GPT, get parts of his reply and then bring it to mine uh, into edit mode and leave that as the ideal answer. So it really learned with that. Um, so it's working really well. So I'm excited. I think next steps will be now to try the new chat uh, API with GPT Turbo for the analyzer, the summarizer and all of that. And then uh, eventually I'll get to uh, try the, um, the Langchain uh, techniques which I haven't yet, I haven't got time yet. I hope today or this weekend I'll put some progress into this. But yeah, so this is the short update for today. And uh, thanks for watching and see you soon.